peace, love, and light. This is going to be a read for the collective. I'm picking up on the yin energy, meaning the feminine energy. I will everyone is bliss. I will that this reading reaches you all in good spirit, good health, and that you all are all tuning and tapping in in good vibrations, high frequencies. If you are new to my channel, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am also clairaudient and I am also an empath. So I do pick up on the energy uh, through utilizing uh, music. Um, I also pick up the energy empathic, uh, whatever may be, you know, coming through uh, more powerfully, whether on behalf of yourself or the person that you could be dealing with, thinking of, um, this could even be past energy. Uh, my readings are general, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. Check your moon, your rising, your Venus. Check your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, my readings are also timeless, so let's tap in and tune in. Um, I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So as you all know, I like to start off my reads with a uh, numerology deck, with the numerology deck, pardon me. And we have manifestation on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you're manifesting um, uh, after putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you guys put the work in. You got the job done. You did something, um, you know, very, very uh, tediously. Like you were working very tediously, very focused on an outcome, on a specific goal. And I feel there's uh, blessings, rewards, recognition, um, breakthroughs, victory, success. I feel I'm hearing victory lap, rising power, Nipsey. But I'm hearing you're in... Um, you're now having your victory lap. Um, perhaps you've been estranged from a lover and this person is coming in because we have Janet Jackson singing together again. Uh, we have financial discipline on the split. So like I said, y'all have been getting the job done. You've been working towards a goal and I feel like there's some blessing coming in. I feel like the door to personal healing and happiness is opening up because you're coming out of a dark period and now you're coming into a brand new cycle. Um, you're just on the precipice of the new. There's newness. You know, I feel a very refreshing energy. Um, so let's see what's coming in for the yin energy. What's coming in for my beautiful divine feminines, the yin energy. I have a message of love and light for the yin energy, the collective. This is a collective reading. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for the yin energy. Thank you, spirit. That was a little funky. Give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. Bottom of the deck, I see parenting. Some of you all were dealing with a toxic uh, relationship. You were in a toxic relationship. You were in a cycle. I heard um, emotional roller coaster, you know. Wash, rinse, repeat. Look at that. Now you're having a rebirth. Transformation. You've ascended. You've grown. You've transformed. This is you having some sort of major breakthrough. It's like you've learned some sort of lessons. And now you're soaring. You're growing f stronger. Uh, we have the system playing uh, Don't Disturb This Groove. So I feel like you're protecting your peace now. A uh, Very guarded. We got 16. Uh, that reduces to seven, so I'm thinking of like the seven of wands. So a lot of you all could be like really defensive, protective of your energy, protective of your space, very mindful of who you around, um, who you allow around you and in your cipher. Um, I also feel like you're moving forward. You're not looking backwards. Um, you're just looking forward. You're moving forward, upwards and onward, um, because you've had some sort of major, um, you know, growing pain. You've evolved, you've ascended, you've seen something for what it truly was. So there was uh, an ending, a powerful ending. And now you're getting rewarded. You're being bl uh, blissed. I feel like you are really in a sacred space right now, Divine Feminines. You know, so we got our cards here. So this is upright. So whoever you're dealing with, I feel like you have triggered someone uh, to make some sort of changes. Uh, because whatever they was doing, it wasn't working for you. 
and this completely changed your whole uh, perspective of that person, of that relationship, that dynamic, you know, and you may have put somebody on, uh, you know, on, on, um, you may have blocked someone, ghosted someone, you may have put someone on timeout, could have released them, cut them off, and, you know, because we have don't disturb this groove, so I feel like you're in a protective bubble, you are, like, truly in your sacred space, you know, I'm hearing this sanctuary, like, you're in your sanctuary, your home has become your sanctuary, your safe space, your safe space, your safe haven, and I feel like this has triggered someone to change, they're now looking at themselves, realizing they need to grow up, you know, somebody's, you know, now realizing like, you know, they need to grow. They need to heal. There's a lot of growing um, that this person may need. We got 44 environment. So you could have been dealing with somebody that could have potentially been, um, you know, someone you grew up with. Maybe you have history with this person. Um, I do feel like there's roots, uh, whoever this person is, like there's roots. You've, you know, you've... Um, you could have met them at your place of employment. I'm also picking up. But whoever this is, it's like this person now sees you as a wish fulfillment. They pay attention to you. They see your growth. They see your elevation. They see how much you've transformed, how much you have changed, you know. And I feel like they were um, your trigger and you have somehow tr triggered or activated them to do their work. Because now they're trying to mirror you in some way, some regard. It's like now they're going within with that 14, that's the number five. Maybe they could uh, be going to like a pastor or maybe they're studying, um, you know, their spiritual, um, you know, doctrines. Maybe they're reading their basic instruction before leaving earth. Maybe they're going to a pastor, a master, teacher, an elder, someone in the family, matriarch or patriarch. Um, they're speaking to someone who is experienced, who is wise. Um, this is also someone who allowed like minor differences to influence their perspective or opinion of you. Um, but I feel like you didn't allow this to um, dim your light, stunt your growth. You continue to heal yourself, balance yourself. I'm getting like the star energy from this as well. You know, speaking to all the healing that you had to do. You found equilibrium and balance. You're in harmony. You know, I feel like you realize like you you are worth it. You realize your worth, your value. Um, and so you started to focus more on self-love, self-care. Um, and that's why you're very protective and you're not allowing anyone to disrupt your peace. We got 32 music. So it's telling me to listen to this song. And that that's also showing um, that some of you all are musicians, artists, singers, songwriters. Maybe you play instruments. Um, maybe you all are rappers. Uh, maybe you all... Uh, write music. I heard the word sheet music. So maybe you are a composer of music. Um, but I feel like whatever it is uh, that you do, you've been honing some sort of skill. Um, maybe some of you all um, are also clairaudient. You're hearing and receiving music uh, messages through the music. Um, we have individuality. So many of you have broken free from a codependent connection, which is why you have this major change and transformation that you have experienced. That's a, 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 a sudden upheaval, loss, ending, um, but it's painful nonetheless uh, because, of course, it was unexpected. Uh, but there were also things you have you found out that um, you were not suspecting or expecting to find out. And I feel like you learned um, how to stand perpendicular in your square through this um, heartbreak loss. Um, it's taught you that uh, your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your overall happiness. It's also reminded you the importance of trusting your own intuition and using discernment and not allowing anyone to dupe you, gaslight you, bamboozle you. So you did put someone on timeout pause uh, because you had to you had to get to know yourself. You know, I feel like spirit was trying to kind of guide you back to yourself because you could have lost yourself in a relationship. Um, I feel there was definitely a karmic connection tie um, that you was dealing with. We have Jill Scott one time. I feel like with this, you know, time out, um, I feel like, you know, you 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 honestly gave someone you know, gave several piece of people. I was saying gave someone and I heard my minds. I was like, no, several people. So it was like they corrected me. So you, you gave, it could have been 10 people. You know, you just kept giving people chances. You was just giving out passes to folks. And I feel like now you're on this whole new wave. Like people got one time to show you 
something that you don't like that doesn't vibrate permeate with your energy and you're off it you know because we got jill scott saying it one time so it's like you're not giving people chance after chance you're not giving benefit of the doubt you're not doing any of that you're not flying blindly into anything anymore it's like you're giving people one time one time only if they don't show and prove you're, you're, you're moving on to the next. Um, and we have health here, seven, uh, 71. So I feel that there's a lot of thoughts, like somebody is heavy in their, their, their um, crown chakra thinking. They could be heavy dream activity. They could be like intuitive and dis, um, intuitive messages. Um, someone using uh, telepathic means to communicate. Or somebody could just be suffering from mental anguish, conflict, um, analysis, paralysis, overthinking, um, you know, almost like obsessively thinking about someone or something, um, during this time apart during this pause. Cause it's like, you, you mean what you said, you know, you, you're not, you're not falling back on what you said. Um, when you said, you know, that you're not playing games, if somebody tried to test you to see if you would fall for the okie doke, baby, you fell all the way back. You put somebody on permanent time out and they're feeling that. And I feel like now there's like regret. Now they're like feeling kind of foolish. We got physical activity here, 67, 13. So someone's actions is what did it for you. It's like you, you, you cut, you cut somebody off. You, you're like washing your hands. I keep here and washing your hands that's why I'm like doing this so you've washed your hands of a situation we got daughter personal healing and happiness on the bottom of the deck so that's a beautiful energy because that's what happens when you know you ascend to your higher self you know spirit opens up opportunities for you that may have been delayed because you could have been in you know a codependent relationship and that's why you had to learn to stand on your own to be independent self-sufficient self-reliant somebody could be um discovering that they were more dependent upon you than they initially thought um because maybe you were the source of their peace their happiness um and maybe even their um well-being um so we have like i said there goes that sixth chakra use your intuition and your discernment and we got this here so you could feel it you could sense something is coming in you know you are operating from a space of you know someone who has um reached a level of self-mastery um you have divine knowledge of self you've learned lessons because you've been doing the work um and you haven't been shying away from it uh so let's tap into it. Let's see what's coming in for our divine feminines. Let's see what's coming in for that yin energy. Let's see what's coming in for the yin energy. Divine spirit of love and light. It's coming in for the yin energy. It's coming in for the yin energy. We have a message of love, message of light. Cut this deck. Rebirth. Yep. Daughter spirit. Yep. So now you tapped in, tuned into your Christ consciousness. This is God frequency right here. This is when spirit is speaking to you. Divine interventions are happening. Transmissions are happening. Downloads are happening. Dream activity. Synchronicities. Sensations. You're having encounters with animal totems. Numbers. You're having beautiful, uh, you know, uh, connectedness, you know, after ascending to your higher self. So this door to spirit is opening up for you, which is why... You know, you're now activating and functioning uh, from your higher self. This 32 is showing that you all could be initiates, um, you know, of, uh, you know, the the um, initiates of the craft, you know, spirituality. You're tapping in and tuning into your own divinity. Um, we have Kim uh, singing Say. Um, and so I do feel like a lot of you all are, you have things to say. I feel like your throat chakra, um, is activated right now. I feel like a lot of you could be in, um, in a space where you're starting to express yourselves more, communicate more. Um, you're standing up for what you believe in. Um, you're using your throat chakra more. Maybe you have discovered that you have been suppressing um, your feelings or suppressing certain talents and gifts. We do see music here. This is also a 32. So I feel like spirit is saying that the door to spirit is that some of you all have been initiated. You have been assigned, um, you know, uh, a, a duty, you know, you have a soul's purpose, a mission, um, to, you know, utilize your, your, your vocal, um, 
cords, your 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 throat chakra, uh, to heal the collective, um, or to use some sort of creative gift, artistic gift, uh, to help heal the collective. Because this song is called "Say," I feel like you all have wise words to say, to impart to the masses, um, and I feel like spirit is opening this door. Spirit is, um, it's like spirit is. As I said, um, you're being ordained by spirit. You're being anointed by spirit. You know, there's an, an anointance. There's an anointing. Thank you, spirit, correcting me. There's an anointing on you. And then you have the temple path. So many of you are um, shamans, healers, light workers. A lot of you are, and that's why, you know, so you're influencing someone to make changes, you know, something that you've said hits, it struck home with someone, you know, it struck home, maybe something that you say, maybe this person watches you, if you have an online, excuse me, platform, if you have any type of platform where somebody can watch you, observe you, listen to you, even if you have music, even if you have like, you know, a YouTube channel and you have music. Somebody's listening to something you're saying. We have happy family here. So someone, this is like a divine masculine. You know, somebody's changing so they could come in and offer you this, this happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after, you know. Somebody wants to say how much they love you, how much you bring happiness. You know, the four is the heart chakra. So this person has changed their mind. They've been making some sort of changes. You know, maybe somebody was in a marriage and they're realizing that love doesn't live there. You know, something this person has to say to get to you. We got victory here. So this is why this person is making moderations because they're watching you win. And remember, I said I heard victory lap in the beginning of the uh, reading. I was hearing victory lap. So that's... um. That's definitely, you know, um, confirmation that you all have completed some sort of karmic cycle, you know, especially with that rebirth. It's like you, you're, you've you literally turned into the phoenix rising from the ashes, and now you're getting your coins. I feel like whatever these skills, gifts, and talents that you have, that you've been honing, um, I feel it's going to lead to abundance, self-sufficiency, expansion, growth, elevation. I feel like you all are mastering your craft, like you all are master manifestors, that you go out and get it. Like you don't talk about it, you you just get it. You put in work, like I said. Whatever it is that you do, it's like you've worked for it. You have earned something. You're earning earning recognition, earning the rewards, you know. Why is 32 music here for our beloved collective, the divine feminines? Look at that. We have the yin-yang energy, another four. So someone listens to music and it reminds them of you. This is someone that feels like you are the yin, you know, the, the yin to their yang, the yang to their yin. This is someone that feels that the connection is solid. It's sturdy. You know, that there's a foundation with the two of you. Like I said, I felt like there was history with whoever this person is. Someone is feeling real anxious. Someone is feeling real anxious about being alone, being put out. Because they fear that you're going to bump into someone now that you have this newfound confidence, you know, this newfound self-love, self-respect. This is causing someone to be very anxious. They're up in their head. Analysis, paralysis, overthinking. And remember, we got this card here, the 71, 8, you know. So this is also giving me like 8 of swords energy, you know. And the purple always deals with the crown, you know. That's your psychic abilities, and so I feel like you you really put someone in time out and this time out is really affecting someone mentally, mentally, emotionally. They're like they're really frustrated. And we got this envy here. So someone is really envious, you know, envious of the power that you exude, envious of the fact that you have a new beginning. This 37 becomes a one. So you've moved on from someone and someone is watching and and looking on uh, in 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 in. Um, in angst and frustration, you know, upset that you have been able to kind of, you know, build up this momentum. And we got Johnny, um, Jimmy Summers, and this is called If I Knew. So this person didn't expect you to respond the way that you may have. You know, this envy, jealousy, this person is little, is quite perturbed. And we have patience. So someone was kind of trying to, you know, 
because they, you know, the good the, the, patience is a form of action. So I feel like, you know, divine timing was of essence. This was all a part of the Most High's plan. You know, someone needed to learn something. This is about karma. You know, someone is being stuck with their thoughts. They're resting on a guilty conscience for the things that they've done, things that they've said. They can't take them back. And this is someone uh, that was trying to be patient. Like I said, you can't give anyone a benefit of the doubt when they're doing this, when they're trying to cause confusion, frustration. I feel like this was once you, very anxious, you know, nervous, you know, kind of also um, second guessing yourself. You know, you lacked, you know, there was there was a lack of, of, of you know, security. You felt insecure. But you, you began to work on yourself. And this patience, um, this is another 16. This led to the major breakthrough, the victory. This led to the major rebirth. This led to your transformation, you know. And I feel like it's because you were being obedient, you know, to spirit. When spirit was nudging you, you was listening. You was answering the call. And that's what's led to you now being able to have some sort of forward movement because that 16 reduces to seven, which becomes the chariot. So now that you found that balance, that equilibrium, you know, within the self, now you can move forward assertively and go get them coins with them dollars at dollar dollar bill, beloved. This is stability, self-sufficiency. You trusted your inner gumption. You trusted your intuition. You could be coming into great partnerships, doing great business deals. You could be investing your money and seeing a return on that investment. You could be arigatoing your money. Arigato. Arigato. Arigato in your money. You could be circulating your money. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, don't spend your money. Circulate your money. Because when you circulate it, it returns back to you. The flow is continuously. It's continuous. That's beautiful. So let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, Shay. So let's see what's coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful... Divine feminine yin energy. See what's coming in for my beloved feminine energy. It's coming in for the feminine collective spirit. If this person knew, like I said, that you was going to respond the way that you did, they would not have done the things they did because they was not expecting your clapback game to be the strong. They was not expecting you to hold out as long as you did. Like like I said, they didn't know that you meant what you said when you said what you said. They thought they was going to be able to continue to just gaslight and play games, you know, use their trickery, be deceptive. This is someone very envious of your strength, very envious of your, um, you know, your spiritual gifts even. They feel you're protected. This is a mature man. See that? You've matured. What did I say about that five being the Hierophant? The Hierophant is all about ascension, growth. This is about you being in, you know, a very beautiful space where you're in alignment with spiritually. You are very well learned. You've learned from the mistakes of your past. Whatever the differences was between you and these past people, it's like you've grown from those experiences. I feel like everything that has happened to you um, it was a part of your destiny. It was ordained that way. This was a part of your life's lessons because you are, you know, you are a, a healer. You know, you have spiritual gifts. You are the chosen. You are one of the chosen. This is very, very um, indicative of that. You know, this this definitely confirms that statement. You know, you've matured, you've grown, you've elevated. This is personal growth, spiritual growth, mental growth. Bottom of the deck, we have great fortune. That's why you're being blissed. This is the great fortune. So the wheels now can turn. Someone feels like you are very fortunate, that you bring very good energy, very good um, vibrations, blessings. This person's been searching all over the place for something that was sitting right in front of their face. We have Erica Badu singing Searching. And this is a remake of um, Roy Ayer's song. This is from the live album, Eberka Badu's Live. So we have this happy family. So someone now wants to implement the change because they see you as, you know, a part of their destiny. Like, you know, this is a destiny type of love. They could see a future, marriage, children, house, white picket fence, animals, biz building businesses. But they feel like you are a wish fulfillment, no doubt, because this 26 reduces to 8. So they feel like you're one in a million. Your love is one in a million. Why is this 14 
moderation. This person is also matching your vibration and energy with that 14. I also feel this person needed to mature. They needed to grow up. Emotionally, they weren't on your level. And it's like you had to learn them a little something. In the words of Kevin Hart. <laughs> I don't even find him to be funny, but I just wanted to say that. You had to learn him a little something. He's not that funny, y'all. Stop fronting. I grew up listening to, like, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy at his prime, Red Fox, <laughs> you know. Kevin Hart is not funny. Dave Chappelle, you know what I'm saying? Paul Mooney, like, that's funny. I can't get into Kevin Hart's comedy. All right, what is uh, 14 moderation? Happy family. He's kind of corny to me. I'm sorry. I found him to be funny when he was, like, still a struggling comedian. People usually are, like, you get the best of them when they're, like, hungry. And now he's just all rich and stuff. It's just like, he's not funny. All right. Great fortune flew right back out. So definitely, this is a destiny type of love. This is someone who feels your wish fulfillment. Like, loving you will fulfill them emotionally, financially. They feel you to be a blessing, a destiny type of love. We have expectation. So I feel like, again, you had to grow from something you was expecting. You was expecting something to transpire in a certain way, and it didn't. It ended. And so you're still sitting here very pre very pretty, you know, very stable. You're still living in your home, but you are taking a time out to reflect on things that have transpired. And what has happened is you realize that you needed to do some healing. You know, you needed to do a little more growing, a little more healing. And because you took the time out to do what you had to do, that's why you have this victory. You know, I feel like a lot of y'all was soul searching. You started to do a lot of internal work, started to heal at a soul level. And that's why you are where you are. Give me one moment. Pardon me for that. So, yeah, so this expectation, I feel like you always expected, you know, a positive outcome. You know, um, regardless of what transpired in a form of relationship, you didn't let it break you, ladies. You know what I'm saying? You kept your eyes focused on the prize, you know, and I feel like you found yourself, you know, with whatever searching you was doing internally, you know, soul searching, internal reflection. Um, I feel like this is you healing thyself and um, whatever prayers, petitions um, that you have uh, sent up, they're manifesting. So it's like you got a victory. You got some sort of breakthrough now. Wish fulfillments are coming in because of the work that you've put in. So let's see what else we have. So we have high honor. See that? This is victories, breakthroughs. I told you I heard victory lap in the beginning by Nip Nipsey Hussle, Rising Power King. And so this is showing the hard work that you put in. Because you've transformed, because you've maintained your self-respect, your self-love, you didn't falter in that. You didn't waver in that. You didn't lose yourself completely. You know, that's why there's this, this, this beautiful victory, this honor, you know, that you have. And it's showing here. You're, you're in harmony. You know, now somebody sees you in your authenticity. They see you. Um, somebody sees you as, um, you know, like you, you it's just like your music to their soul. You know, you're like soul food. You're like, again, you know, the yang to their yin. You know, this is someone who definitely with seven and four, they feel you're their twin flame. You know, they feel you're the one. You're that one, you know. So let's see what we got, beautiful feminine energy. What did I say about somebody can't get you off their mind, constantly thinking of you? And we have Lauren Hill singing Lost Ones. So this is somebody who feels like they lost you. That's why they're a little, you know, anxious. You know, this is somebody who's like has deep regrets, remorse, you know, somebody who's suffering, you know, because now you all single and mingling and looking good. You in your power. You independent, self-sufficient. You doing things like you very protective of your energy. And now it's like they feel like they lost the one that, you know, you're the one that got away. They lost you. That's why they're anxious. So spirit, it's like you, anybody who was doubting you, anybody who was trying to play you, it's like they got played. You know what I'm talking about? Like they ended up getting played. You know, whatever they was doing to deceive themselves, you know, whatever they thought they was doing to deceive you even. It's like spirit saw that. That's why I feel like there was a dose of like, you know, karma that was, you know, somebody had to suffer from like, you know, a guilty conscience. That's why the 71 health is here along with anxiety because now somebody is like, damn, I lost that, the, the you know, that special person. I lost my divine feminine. And I'm out here with these ratchets, these old birds, these side pieces ain't hitting on nothing. Like, 
Why is individuality and anxiety here for my beautiful divine feminine energy? Thank you, spirit. Poverty. See that? What did I say? This was somebody who was more codependent on you than they initially thought. Now you out here single doing your do doing your one two <laughs> and somebody is like struggling financially. They lost a real one is what I heard. They lost a real one. This is that person you definitely put on timeout. See that? This is somebody in the spirit of lack, sufferation. This is somebody who's suffering from their own actions. Their devious, devious actions, devious ways. See this family room. Now somebody is sitting around upset, angry because something is ended. They want to project, deflect because you put them on timeout. You ain't playing with them no more. Like I said, you don't you you, you don't have the time for the nonsense. You've learned the lessons. That's why you got rebirth here cuz you have transformed. Transformation embodies everything. That's mind, body, soul. You didn't just transform your look. I know most people, when they go through a breakthrough or breakup, they tend to change their look. They go to the gym. They lose the weight. They change their outfits. They get a, a you know, a, a makeover. But I feel like a lot of this was internal transformation. You've transformed. So your the way you're thinking has transformed. The way that you see things, your ideologies, belief systems have all transformed. And now this person is envious. That's why you're being blissed. You're being rewarded. This is a gift. Wish fulfillment, beloved. You did the work. What did I say in the beginning of the reading? I can't make this ish up. You was very patient in this process. Like I said, it took you a while to realize, like, dang, what I'm what I'm giving, I ain't getting. And you was very, very patient because you have very loving, very nurturing, very maternal energy. So you want to see the good in people. Very empathic, even, some of you. You know, so you were being very patient. But your patience ran thin because you realized somebody was just mind ucking you, you know, gaslighting you, duping you, playing you, trying to trying to anyway. And so that's why now look at this. Look at the bad health. Look at this health. Somebody's mental health is 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 at bay. Like this person is is um struggling. They're heartbroken. This 31 reduces to 4. Somebody is heartbroken. This is a masculine in the bed. Somebody is heartbroken. And not only are they heartbroken, I feel like they're also suffering from, again, this mental conflict. Because of the things they did. They made the wrong decisions and choices, man. They was trying to play you and they played themselves. So we got main man. So if y'all was dealing with a masculine, this could have been, you know, somebody you was in a relationship with. I feel like they, they definitely are... Sitting in this space of regret, remorse, but we have a uh, sudden wealth here. So this is your reward for being patient. Patience is a form of action. Good things take time to create and divine timing is always of essence. I feel like the wheel is now turning in your favor. What did I say about somebody can't get you off their mind? We have Maxwell singing, I love you or love you. So someone realizes they love you. That's how much they think about you. And this is that person that's broken hearted. This person never expressed that or communicated that to you. This person can't stop thinking of you. This is that same 16. Remember, rebirth was also 16. Bottom of the deck, main male. So you ladies have a main male that is very much in love with you. But instead of saying these words, I love you, what they choose to do is try to deny these feelings that they have for you. But all they're doing is causing them their own selves more hurt and more pain because you all have transformed. So you're no longer operating in a space where you're going to sacrifice and go backwards just for the sake of appeasing someone else. You're no longer doing that. You're protecting your energy. And remember, you're already in a very, um, you know, a very defensive energy as is because of whatever they did in the past. But this is your reading, beloved, beloved, divine, feminine, my yin energy. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit that like, the share, the subscribe, and definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever a sister uploads. And I do appreciate you for taking the time out. Till next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.